Hey guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, very excited because we have been having an awesome start to season 42. So I want to go over everything that's going to help you guys um, if you're just waking up or anything like that to get ready for the season. But before we get into that, guys, I do appreciate it if you uh, find the video helpful. Just simply subscribe to the channel and also throw in that code chicken in the shop. I do appreciate it. So that being said, let's go over the tech tree first. So Here's the path that we took, and I think this is, you know, I always try to take the path that makes the most sense for the general player or just for people in general that want to, you know, have a good time and maybe not have a good time, but um, just the, the best path to be able to rank up quickly and end in a good position throughout the season. So what we did was we went, uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to get to that troop damage first and foremost, and then we want to go with brick, and then we go to want to go to shock bomb. So... Um, we're going to skip a couple things that some other people are going to have. We're going to skip some artillery, skip some med kits. Um, we're going to skip the shock mines and the boom mines for right now. Those are easy pickups later on. They're right there. Um, the reason we're skipping those for right now is because some of the offense right currently is outshining the defense. So <clears throat> the bases with all the mines are definitely tough to go against, but um, we have some workarounds, which we'll get into in a second when we start to go over the attack. Um, but that's where we're at for right now, and essentially we just want to save for four yards at this point. Um, we did make it up to 15, so I don't know where that puts us globally, but probably somewhere pretty solid. Top 57 global, that's pretty sweet. And I don't know where we are in the Canada, number eight, so not too shabby right there. Um, but yeah, so there it is, blazing out of the gates. And here's the base. So this is the base I found that has worked the best so far. Um, just at three yards, it's, it's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, um, yeah, we, we basically just, you know, want to make, uh, something like this where there's a bottom engine and then two top engines and then kind of split the mines, uh, in between. I'm actually going to move these mines around a little bit just because I don't like, um, don't like how those are so easy to skip. Um, let's go here. Maybe here, and yeah, let's throw these up this way. Okay, so there's the base, there's the tech. Let's get into the attack, and then maybe we can even keep it rolling here. So yeah, um, essentially the attack is pretty easy. I mean, basically all we wanna do is just, it's a simple heavy rush. Um, and like I said, the only bases that we're really gonna have a problem with are gonna be the, uh, the full mine bases. So, I mean, you know, it's definitely a viable route if you want to go that. But it just means it's going to be tough on offense, right? So, <clears throat> I think this will be easier for everybody if we can just simply, um, you know, heavy rush, have a decent enough base to hang on to, and then, uh, you know, make our moves from there. So, I did upgrade the gunboat a little bit. Not crazy. But let's go something like this. Then we can mix our battle orders in with our shock bombs. This is my first time using the shock bomb, so we'll see if they're actually good or not. Um, let's go... Do, 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 do. Let's use that battle orders now. Brick's probably going to die here, so I don't know if that's good or bad. Um, but yeah, upgrading that flare, definitely helpful. Um, and let's go like that. Upgrading the flares to four save us so much gunboat energy because we don't have to constantly reflare and reflare. And look at that, guys. 323. Boom. There it is, knocking it right out of the park on opening day. You love to see it. Let's see, Mr. Kareem, 323. I don't think he's going to beat that. No, sir. No, sir. So <clears throat> I think that's a pretty easy path um, for most people to, to pick and just have general success with. So, um, yeah, and, and that's the base we want to use. So we'll get into another one here soon and, uh, and, and see if we can keep this going. But... You know, the idea was just to get a strong heavy rush attack right out of the gates before. The, the thing is, once these bases start to get dirty, once people start to unlock more defenses, um, you know, that's when this is going to stop working as well. We're going to have to look for, to do something else, but press it while it's hot, man. That's what the Warships is all about. Oh, man, I'm so tired. I'm sorry. It's like 4 a.m. my time. I've been up all night, so a little bit exhausted, but we're going to make it work. So that is seven in a row. That is good. That's what we need to see. Um, let's dive into the next one here. And we're kind of lacking some defenses a little bit. Um, but yeah, 
Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Like I said, a good start. That's all we really need to do on um, opening day. <clears throat> and, you know, we got to rank 15. Rank 16 would be awesome. Uh, top 50 global, so the match ranks is not going to be great. But we'll figure it out as we go. We'll figure it out as we go. Match ranks will be a little bit slower after the server split, of course. I actually posted a really funny uh, reel on my Instagram, at the chicken 24 if you guys want to try, or you guys want to check that one out. All right, let's go this way. We're going to let them hang out here for a minute. If we can get two battle orders in, that would be awesome. Because we are going to smoke this guy in terms of time. Just depends if he's going to hit us really fast or what he's going to do exactly. Um, let's go this way. And we're going to go battle orders right about now. Shock right there. And we're moving over here. And same thing this side. 320, not too shabby. He's still scouting for some reason. Not sure what's going on there, but we'll see in a second. 320, Philosopher King, he's a good player. Um, he's just starting now. So we're going to be able to see the whole attack here. He's going with heavies, rifles, medics, and brick. Interesting. He's using the artillery to clear the mines. Wow. I can't see that being a good strategy. <clears throat> the bases aren't dirty enough, really, to warrant this kind of attack. Um, we can still just rush through them, obviously, like, like I was doing. Now, if we go back and take a look at the tech tree here for a sec, um, what were some of the key pickups? Troop health, get that 200%. That was huge. Troop damage, get that 200%. I could not do these attacks without having both of those maxed out. Otherwise, yes, we are going to start to fizzle here and there. So um, there is that. Now, yeah, we do have the cryo tanks. The problem with the cryo tanks is they're extremely expensive on the gunboat energy to use. And, yeah, very expensive and, you know, not really doing enough damage to uh, for us to use them just yet. But, uh, but yeah, our next couple pickups would probably be probably be shock mines and boom mines, honestly, is what I'm thinking. Or if we want to go to four yards right away, that's probably not going to be a bad look either. Um, it just depends. Sky Shield's going to be nice. Everything's going to be nice. Look at that wind log, guys. Not looking too, too shabby. <clears throat> it's just uh, the one draw against Man Bear Pig, which is uh, screwing up our otherwise perfectly clean log here. But, um, yeah. Let's see if this guy can end his attack. I don't know why he waited for us to finish before he started attacking, but it is what it is. Um, we'll see if we can get to 16 in the, in this video. Why not? That would be pretty awesome. Um, let's see. Who are we going to get matched up against with next? And again, you know, when you're high up on the leaderboards, it's going to be tough to get that matchmaking, but we'll do what we can. And we'll try to make it work. So let's see who we get matched up against with here. And do, 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 do. Another 15, that's what we like to see. Excellent. Okay, there we go. So these, these bases are pretty straightforward. I mean, there's not a whole lot to it. Um, we essentially just want a battle order, shock, battle order, shock. And that's, yeah, that's essentially it. The thing with using battle orders with heavy rush is we don't want to use it, you know, if we're worried about fizzling, we don't want to use it, um, you know, on, on the way to the engine, because then that's just kind of a waste, you know what I mean? Like, it's better to use it, um, you know, when we're in the midst of all these defenses. All right, there we go. Doesn't get any smoother than that, guys, 322. I mean, sure, we could have cleaned that up probably a little bit and make it faster, but I think that's all we needed to do here. Let's see, 322. Uh-oh. Seven, six, five. Four. Oh, we got him, guys. We got him. Three, two. Let's go. Yep, he was definitely close, but uh, not quite able to cut it there, Mr. Ape here. That brings us up to 15 and 47. Let's take a quick peek at where that brings us. Number two in Canada. And 15. Wow, top, almost top 20. That's really cool. All right. Let's go, guys. We got that 10 times win streak. Can we bring it home? <laughs> this is why it's important to play early, man, because you can, you know, you can catch people like this and, you know, you can, um, 
you may not have the perfect tech or the perfect base or whatever, but if you play early and you play fast enough, sometimes you can take advantage of a little push point, which is exactly what we're doing for right now. So let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can make that work. We just gotta find an opponent and then go from there. Let's see. Let's see. But you guys let me know how you're doing down below in that comment section. Um, if you're having a good start to the season, you're having a bad start to the season. Either way, um, interested to um, to hear that for sure. And yeah, man. All right, here we go. Boss fight to rank 16. This would be the fastest I've ever achieved gold on day one. Let's see if we can do it. Uh oh, I don't like this. This guy has no defenses, and we all know what that means. That means he's got something crazy for us on offense. But that's all right. We're not gonna fizzle. So we're just gonna go as fast as we can here. So that means going this way, snappy flares, snappy, snappy, snappy. But he's probably going to artillery us down or something like that, and we're not going to have a chance. Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> but it's all right. Either way, great opening day, great opening start. And um, we'll have a chance here, maybe. We'll have a chance. 326, let's see, let's see, let's see. Can we get gold immediately? That would be amazing. I think so, guys. I think so. Yes! Yes! We got it! We got gold! Boom! Day one and in the video. Wow, what a start. And that's going to push us up to like, I don't know, maybe 15 in the world, something like that. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. Wow. Amazing. Oh, guys, what an amazing start. Look at this. Look at that. I've never got gold that fast. That is crazy. Guys, if you don't usually, I appreciate it if you leave a like down below. That was an awesome start. And uh, we got nothing but moves to make from here. So let's check out the ranking. Global 18. Can't complain there. And number two in Canada. Whoops. <laughs> Turn on my iPad by accident. But appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you so much. Good luck in your season. I hope that helps you out. And we will see you in the next one. Checking out. Bear, bear.